Hello everyone, I'm excited to announce Cadence White Label. This is a new plugin to the Cadence uh, brand that allows you to white label the Cadence theme and Cadence blocks. This just makes it so agencies can better control the experience for their clients and give them a more premium uh, feel when they're dealing with what their theme looks like from the admin side and what uh, branding shows up with the blocks and block settings. So. We're going to jump in and look at how you set up white label and how it works. Uh, there are settings, general settings. You can define your agency and the link that is going to show up in different places throughout um, blocks and theme. And then the white label itself plugin, you can redefine what the name is and description and the icon. And similarly for the theme you can change the theme name change what is going to appear in the admin settings under appearance and then the description as well as the theme screenshot and then you can hide uh, extras on the theme page so right now if you come here you'll see like license and tutorials and documentation as well as like getting started and change log all that can be hidden including this logo here um so You've got those settings, and then for the pro add-on, you can change the plugin name for that and the icon. And you'll see these are this is what we're talking about, changing this as well as if there's an update on the updates page. <clears throat> Blocks, similarly, you have settings to change the plugin name and description as well as the icon. Uh, and you also can change this nav menu in the admin so you can... Um, change the name of that you can set the icon there's some existing icons here or you can choose custom and if you choose custom you can just drop an svg in uh, it's important to note that you should have fill equals current color for the best results of it to to follow all the hover styles and then you've got blocks pro and you can set the name description and icon the last extra settings here is you can disable AI. Can say AI can't be white labeled, so you can disable it for your users. And then you can um, hide this white label uh, nav menu completely, and that will prevent anyone from seeing it. If you do hide it, there is this little trick. You can add this, append this to the URL when you're on the uh, themes page, and that will... Uh, reveal it back. So if you ever like decided you wanted to hide it and then get back to these settings, you can do so by uh, going in to putting this at the end of the link. We can show that in a minute. But uh, the main thing is you enable, save. Now you're going to see that all of this is rewritten. I've got a new screenshot. I've got the by is the author, new name and description. And then on the plugins page, you can also see all of these have been rewritten. If you like were to come in and view details, you'll see that even all of this is completely white labeled for you. This link goes to the link for your agency. Um, and then the admin page, it's got your custom icon here, as well as the settings page has been white labeled. The cadence um, page has been white labeled. If you go into Pages itself and look at the editor, the design library has your new icon showing here and here, as well as uh, this gets replaced from Cadence to the Blocks plugin name. Uh, so you kind of get a white label library, as well as this um, over here. You can see that that Cadence config is actually becomes uh, your uh, name and icon in the config area. And finally, the blocks themselves cadence blocks all get put under your category name so they don't show up as cadence blocks so you get to white label that whole experience to um just a more premium feel for your clients and then i will show under white label you can hide this um again this is what you would append to, to get back into the settings so once I do that, if I reload the page, this page is actually gone now. So it says like, hey, you're not allowed to access it because there's no page there. And I just go back to the admin. You can see that under the uh, theme page, there's no white label. To get that back, I have to go back to that theme page and then just append that to the URL. And that brings back the white label settings. 
and then I can turn them off again if I want to. So there's your quick overview of Cadence white label and I hope you like it.